What up squad, it's your squid aka The Anxious Squid here at Anxious Squid Productions. This video has a brand new sponsor for the channel, it's 757 Collect Sports Collectibles. Uh, it basically it does what it says on the tin, they're a sports collectibles organisation, they're based in Virginia Beach, uh, in, in Virginia I think, that's where that is, I don't know, you tell me. Uh, but yeah, if you click through the link in my description, they've got stuff anywhere from $4 to five grand. Uh, guaranteed they'll have something from your favourite team, be it collegiate or professional level. Uh, they've jumped on board, as I said, to, to, to help me out and to help the channel out. So they're friends of the channel. They'll be friends of you guys as well. Almost guaranteed. I haven't clicked and looked, but I will before I go editing. And I'll put like a, a picture up here or something. It's almost guaranteed that there's going to be some Larry Bird merch on there as well. So yeah, big thank you to 757 Sports Collectibles. Those guys are the bee's knees. Check them out. Click the link in my description. Uh, but yeah, it's an, this, this video is another one for my basketball playlist. I'm wearing my basketball jersey. Uh, you have seen from the title and the thumbnail that it's Larry Bird. So I'll stop blabbing on. Let's get into it. Thanks for tuning back in as always guys. I haven't really touched on a lot of basketball players for this basketball playlist yet. I'll show you at the end of the video uh, a complete list of players that you guys have suggested I look into and I'll show you if this is the first time you've stumbled across one of my videos who I have looked into so you can go poking around and decide if you like me. That way you can then hit the subscribe button. Uh, but yeah, this video is another one by Joseph Vincent who my regular subscribers will know I think is dope. I think he's awesome. I think his production, production quality is amazing. So let's get into it, shall we? One association in its 33rd season is troubled by diminishing crowds and declining television ratings signs that fan interest may be waning fan interest waning in basketball Larry Bird comes to save the day it was too black a league for the United States of America in the late 90s wow you think about the Knickerbockers at the time the running joke was it was the Knickerbockers wow See, that's what it was it was the N-word that's, that's rough there's a lot of like, there's a lot of racism intertwined in sports here in America, I find. And I don't mean like sports are racist. I mean that like sports are a very heavily ingrained part of society here. And as society has shifted and there have been growing pains with those shifts in society, the growing pains I feel like have been felt most prevalently in American sport, like as far as I can see, you know, like there's, there's, uh, every sport I look into, it has its own race row and its own, its own race issues and period of race turmoil, you know, I think it's, I think it's really interesting to, to reflect upon, like, especially as a white dude, you know, like obviously people, um, you know, I, I, I'm not going to be able to have the same experience as somebody whose uh, skin color is vastly different from me because those, like, I'm, fortunate enough to be palatably foreign in this country if that makes sense like i'm foreign enough that my accent's exotic and people like me but i'm not foreign enough that i'm weird and scary so it's like i can and and that you know now i'm uh, conflating black america with foreign people which is one of the you know not something that i should be doing anyway and it's real real hard to wrap your head around from uh, uh, like an immigrant's perspective i'll just say that Fuck off to a different yeah. sport then, dickhead. A bunch of guys who did drugs. Go and play with the rest of the Neanderthals. And uh, they had no sponsors. He didn't impress me the more than that white guy I've ever seen play before. So basically they're saying he was he was a white guy that played like a black guy in that same era. <laughs> hope he can help solve professional basketball's difficulties, which some say are compounded by a question of black and white. That was about to travel to me, but all right. I'm thinking, oh, he's slow, he can't get off the shot. Bam, knocks down the jump shot. He's not bad. He's not that strong. Does he? I think that you would say that most black players at the time were racist. Right. Because, like, racism is about the institutional power, you know? Like, people say to me, oh, reverse racism is a thing. And, like, as a white dude, don't think it is. Because racism is about the, the power inherent and the, 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 the different... Um, 
like the different ways in which power is dealt and 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 and, and weaponized and 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 one aspect of society having power where others don't and so generally speaking when i go oh, when i hear about like reverse racism and shit like that i go like that's that's not a thing but like if 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 it's true that that black americans had the power structure and had the dominant power figures in basketball then maybe because of the way powers wielded there could have been an inherent racism towards white people in basketball but maybe i'm thinking it too much let me know in the comments section i'll just hit play and stop like trying to analyze socio-economic issues through a vein of sport let's just get into it shall we that you could find a, a white guy who could play better than any black guy maybe that's because they're all just people So he sort of broke down those barriers, I take it? That's cool. World champ. I've heard he was a good trash talker as well, but... That muscle memory! Look at it, just going in, 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 in! He has ice water in his veins. Uh, so you know what I'm talking ice about? Ice water in his veins. What is that? Is he's not even human? Because he's so cool, right? Right there with Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson. Nice. Mental toughness and leadership. Wayne Burr the following. Mental toughness and leadership. Oh, that one is close. That's the closest I've seen him come to missing. That game was unbelievable. Just absolutely Bang. Don't let him get his shot off. Get in his face. Nah, too bad. Unfortunate. You can see what old mate was trying to do. Doesn't matter where he is, if he gets the ball, he's scoring. That's mad. The other players are high-fiving each other because they're like, this guy's awesome. Look at the other players on the other side. They're just like, no way. He doesn't miss. He's good, isn't he? That's just smooth as well. Just a smooth curve and fly to the ball. That's good. 60 points in a game. That's that's mental. That's mental. That is absolutely mental. Nice. Oh, this would have been a good game. Magic Johnson and Larry Bird. That guy looks like Sean Aston. You know the actor that plays Samwise Gamgee? Look at this, this guy in the crowd. That's the only time I ever felt that. There ain't no way they're walking out of here with Tell me that's not Sean Astin, right? Just that, that is totally Sean Astin, but anyway. It's a three on two for Boston. Oh, silky. That was silky. Teamwork as well. Like, not just his. You, you know what I'm saying. Oh, he split them in half. One, two, gets it back. That's just like pretty basketball, that is. That is pretty basketball. I don't even know any rules or anything like that, but when you can split a pair of defenders like that. What's going on there? They're getting mobbed. Nice, they're the champions, but like one of them has been shanked by the opposition fans. <laughs> like, that's insane. That's like, that'd be cool to do. And back home in Aussie rules, you can do it like when a player kicks 100 goals. It hardly ever happens. I think the last time it happened was like 2008 or something. But yeah, on the 100th goal, everyone just storms the pitch and gets in. And like, you know, the last four times it's happened, he's kicked it. And as soon as it's looked like it's gone through, security guards have mobbed him before a crowd could and stuff. But that, to me, looks like an accident waiting to happen, but also one of the cooler elements of sports. So like, if somebody could explain that for me as well, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, stop me. You and Larry Bird. In. Man, that green.
screen court would be killer on a green screen these days. Like, don't mess with my editing something fierce. He doesn't miss, does he? He's just, he's a big game player by the sounds of it. Like, who's going to win first? All right. Again, coach is getting into it on the sideline. Obviously, it's a championship game. Big finish, big finish. He finished strong. Bang! Everyone's like, "Come on, man! Come on! Get us over the line! Not long left. Nail that three, and he does. Well done, Larry. Good work, mate." Flap, flap away. Surely there are heaps of bird puns that happened or happened during his career. Oh, he's getting the ball back into it as quick as he can there. That's good. That's, he doesn't want to rest on his laurels, you know. He wants to win the game, not just let the other team lose it. That is pressure. That's each second that's ticked just there. Like, that is a... Pr oh! Stop it, bro! Watch him pick the gap here. Watch him pick this gap like a needle through thread. Look at him. There's two of them there. Old mate's like, I'm a guard space. I'm a guard space. Now I'm going to look stupid as he walks through my guarded space. That was elite. Like, he doesn't... If He, he can miss that. Like, just... I don't know anything about... Like, look at that. He... he like, he, there's so much skill involved. In, like, I don't know about basketball. I don't know about all the technicals. Like, I still have to look into a rules of basketball video, which I've been laxed in not doing so far. But, like, you can just tell, as a fan of, like, a fan of athleticism or a fan of sports in general, that is a master of his center of gravity and the hand-eye coordination all at once, picking a gap. That was... That was t intense. That was a great run. Like run, I charge at the at the basket. I don't know what you call it. Nice little juke there. Oh, he nearly got coat hanging by one of their players, but. Oh, intercept. See you later. Not today, he says. He's just got such a big wingspan too, you know? He can just get his arms up and over the block, you know? Like, it's like he's got an extra, an extra hinge, you know? Another arm, another bit of arm. Nice. He did it again. He did it again. he did it. Jumps up from the right to the left to the basket, he says. This is good. This guy's good. Situating the nose. No. Each time I think he's done something the trickiest, that he's gonna do for the video. He goes and outsmarts me and does something else, you know? That's a call. Larry Bird was a better shooter than LeBron James. Oh, over the back. Don't, bro. That's unfair. That's unfair. Basically from half court with 0 0.1 seconds left. And he sinks it. Well, you can get it from there. Why don't you get it from there every week? <laughs> Coach says. How many has he nailed this time? Go and check this out. Like, this guy's awesome. Um, Joseph Vincent is his name, the guy that produced this video. He's got a whole bunch of really good compilations. If you're a reactions channel, react to one of these videos. Some of these. Far out. He has not missed yet. That 
That's special. I like him. I like that guy. That guy was good. Sorry I planned so much. The video goes for 10 minutes, but the recording's 15 so far. All right. Um, like I said before, this video is sponsored by a brand new sponsor. It's 757 Sports Collectibles. Uh, the link in my description, if you click that and click on through, almost guaranteed. I haven't looked yet. I will between now and editing and put some pictures up and stuff. But yeah, like almost guaranteed there'll be some Larry Bird stuff. And if not Bird, then Celtics. Celtics? Celtics? One of those two as well. So yeah, check them out. But... This right here is the list of players that people have suggested I look into. Uh, the ones underneath that aren't in the colourful highlight a bit are the ones I already have looked into. Uh, I'm going to try and, after the Super Bowl weekend uh, is done with football, this will probably be the last basketball video I do before the Super Bowl happens this weekend, but after Super Bowl weekend, I'm going to try and dive real heavy into basketball and into baseball to try and, like, get my groove on with those sports. So, yeah, if you don't see your favourite player... Uh, from basketball, and it can be WNBA as well. Like, I'm not one of those guys that won't look into women's sports. It's just no one suggested women's sport to me yet. Wonder why that is. Uh, but, yeah, just let me know. If you're interested in me checking something out, or even if, like, you see your favourite player on that list, just let me know in the comment section, because the more people commenting saying, do this guy next, the more likely I am to do that guy next, if that makes sense. Uh, but, yeah. If this was the first time you stumbled across my channel, feel free to poke around. Don't decide just based off this video. I might be having an off day. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, po poke around the channel. Decide if you like me. I've got a whole bunch of different sports, reactions, playlists, and live streams about my life as an immigrant here in America. Um, and yeah, that's about it, I think. Thanks for watching. I'll see you when I look at you. You'll see me when you look at me. Go squad. <laughs>